All right, so today I'm going to show you our Keybonics automatic digital incubator for our chicken eggs. It's got a 12 egg capacity, everything you can see right here on the box. Um, controls your humidity and temperature uh, for hatching your farm fresh eggs. So we've got about, well, we've got seven hens and one rooster right now and uh, uh, our newest hen is was the only egg layer uh, that Santa Claus brought um, and she's a silky so she doesn't lay as often as the others uh, the others are Easter eggers got three Easter eggers and three barred rocks so and our, our rooster is a silky as well so two silkies and three barred rocks and three easter eggers um, so i've only got two silky eggs uh, one of our barred rock hens just started laying two days ago so we're happy that she started laying uh, we've had some pretty cold weather uh, here recently so that's going to uh, play into in that so they were a little late uh, getting started laying but we kind of knew that going in because it was going to be right when they got up to uh, when they're supposed to be laying is when the cold weather really started coming in. But so this incubator is super easy. It's not a huge capacity, but we didn't need a huge capacity. Um, this is our first uh, attempt at hatching eggs. So basically we've got two silky eggs. They'll be the smallest in the incubator. And I'll kinda uh, show you around on those. Um, and basically what you want, uh, typically uh, 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit for uh, hatching and anywhere between 45 and 55% humidity up until the last three days and then you bump the humidity up to I think between 65 and 75 That's where we're going to go. So we've got these eggs in here. Uh, like I said, it's a pretty simple process. Um, load your eggs up. The um, it will automatically turn your eggs, and you can, it's got a, little, a couple tests that you can see. Uh, it'll automatically turn your eggs uh, once every hour for five seconds, and I'll show you that here. As you can see, there's a. You got a digital display up here. It shows you your temperature and your humidity. Uh, you can press the menu button and that'll show you what day you're on or how many days remain. So we've got six days left. Uh, so six days left of our 21 day cycle. Um, you've also got a candling light um, right here on the top. You just press the minus button. A candling light comes on, so you can put your eggs up there and candle them to see if they're uh, fertilized or the check the development of the eggs. So, and I'll probably do one of those here. The silky is the easiest to see, so I'll get that done here in a second. Um, and let's see the egg turner, so you can see how it turns the eggs. And it does that. It's a five second cycle for uh, once every hour. Uh, and we've not had any issues with that. On the 18th day, um, that will stop automatically. It will quit turning. Uh, we'll remove this yellow ring. I believe that's yellow or, yellow or green. Uh, we'll move that ring out of there and then the chicks should start to pip, uh, which is basically uh, breaking out of their shell. Um, so yeah, we're super excited. We've got um, out of this bunch, so I did, I sourced some eggs uh, from a neighbor down the street just to have enough to do. He's got uh, quite a few more chickens than I do and all his hens are laying. So we picked what we thought were gonna be the most uh, best chance of being fertilized eggs. And only one of those wound up not being fertile um, or not developing. I'm not even sure that it was, wasn't fertile um, so yeah, uh, so far I've been really pleased with, with this incubator, super easy to use, uh, super easy to monitor, uh, 
you don't even have to touch anything. You just walk by, and make sure your numbers are right, and, and go on. Uh, this part over here, right here on the side, is where you add your water to for the humidity. There's a, a little plastic piece there that pokes out, and that's your water level indicator. Uh, basically, you add water up to that and try to keep it up to that. You're basically just watching the humidity, and after a you know, after a day or two, it'll kind of settle out to see where you're at. And if it gets low, you add a little more water. Um, I think uh, about every three or four days, I add some more water. It also has a vent back here. I don't know if I can, let me turn this. Um, light off, so you can turn the light off as well with the function. Here back here is the air vent. Uh, so you're supposed to leave that at somewhere between half and three quarters until day 18. And on day 18, you'll open that all the way to get full ventilation. As you can see inside there, uh, where that little plastic grate or grill is, um, that's where the water goes into. So it heats the water up basically inside this dome and gives it a nice humid environment. Um, all right, so we will, let's go ahead and one of the things, the, the light is pretty bright depending on the, the egg, depending on how dark the egg it is. Uh, you may, we got a black copper moran and egg in there and we can't really see in it. So, well, I say we can't, we can see uh, where, the, where the light comes through. But, so what we wound up doing just, if it's, if it's at night and dark, then, then we can see pretty well. But, a lot of times with the kids we're looking during the daytime so we actually just cut a hole in the back of the box here it's got some of the packing still in there but we'll put the box over uh, just to shade all the light out but I'm gonna turn these lights off here and see if we can't candle one of these eggs Okay, so I've got here, I believe this is our first silky, and we'll see if you can see what's going on. So you can kind of see the, the veins in there. Uh, yeah, this is our first silky that we had, and hopefully you'll be able to see it actually move in there. We'll get it with the you can see the veins and I can see it a lot better off camera but you see that's there we go those veins are showing you that uh, that chicken is developing um, let's see if we can turn it and here you can see the air sac so yeah it's moving in there I don't know how well we're gonna be able to see I'm trying to keep it as still as possible As you can see the chicken there moving uh, and sometimes they're a little more active than others but yeah so that's how you uh, candle your egg you'll candle them in the beginning check for cracks and um, so that top just lifts off right there uh, it's got this little groove right here uh, that it sits in to make, sh that make sure it's on there. Right? And there's basically not much to it. Um, now we'll see what, our, what we wind up with. Um, I do have, there's one silky, and I've written on these with pencil. That one, that other small silky egg over there says seven days because we took out the we had one, and it was an abnormal egg, so it, I think it was fertilized, but it was either a double yolk or uh, something. The shell was just uh, an abnormal uh, egg shape, so pretty much knew it wasn't going to uh, develop, but we still put it in there anyways. And you can tell, they'll start. you'll start seeing the veins after about five days. The veins will start to grow, uh, and then after about... 10 to 14 days, you can tell if there's not been any growth, you can pretty much go ahead and do away with those. 
uh, and toss them out. You don't want to leave them in there. They'll, they'll cook and, and possibly explode. Uh, like I said, I've, I haven't personally seen that. It hasn't happened to me, but I'm sure over the course it will. Um, but yeah, so it's not a huge uh, quantity, but this is perfect for us. I think this was right around $100. Um, it seems to be pretty good quality. I, so far, I just uh, don't have any, uh, any problems with it at all. I've been very pleased. So we'll check back in. Hopefully when the, uh, they've just now started, I don't know if we'll be able to see them on camera, but occasionally uh, they've developed enough to where you'll occasionally see one roll around a little bit um, in the incubator. Uh, just moving inside, so that's pretty cool to watch. So we're super excited, and like I said, we are on. You can just press this menu button. Uh, we've got six days left. Uh, so on day, when that shows three days left, it'll stop turning, and then we will open the vent all the way, get the hum bump the humidity up, humidity up to uh, hopefully around 70, 75 percent humidity. And then uh, in that three day period is when they should start uh, pipping and start hatching. And you take this inner piece out, uh, that way when the chick does hatch, it can crawl around in there, uh, you know. And they're good for, they say they're good for three days, uh, but basically you, you take them, you, you let them dry out really good before you uh, take the top off or anything. Once, once that goes to 18, the lid doesn't come off uh until a chick is hatched and and ready to come out and go into the uh to its next home so yeah i'll keep you posted um, if you have any questions feel free to feel free to ask and i'll try my best to to answer them thanks for watching